So what are we making? Today, we're doing a mahi, and we are gonna do a mustard cream sauce with it. Super simple recipe. So we got our mahi fillets laid out, uh, salt, pepper to taste, uh, garlic, onions, butter, heavy cream, spicy brown mustard, shallots, and we're gonna use fresh lemon for the lemon juice in there too. While that's cooking, we're gonna have uh, mashed potatoes to go with it. So we have mashed potatoes, they've been peeled and then washed, sliced in half an inch thin and then boiled. Um, we're gonna drain everything, warm up the milk, salt, pepper, garlic, and that's gonna be the base under the fish. So check back in a little bit and we'll let you know how we're doing. Checking back in. All right, potatoes are boiled, drained, threw a stick of butter in there, healthy. Um, gonna follow the sauce for the fish, super easy. You're gonna walk me through it. Probably wondering where Miss T is today. She is not being held hostage. She's a little under the weather. So she has opted to help from the sidelines. All right, what do we got? So first you wanna take your shallots and onion and sprinkle them over the fish. Yeah. Tried to dice them up as small as possible, but still, <laughs> still, still down a finger. Okay, and the onions as well. Mm -hmm. Next, and then pretty much everything else is gonna go into a microwavable bowl. All right, we got. We're pie. using a measuring cup. Okay, what do we got? So we got butter, or start with the cream. Quarter, quarter cup. Quarter cup. Oh, new one. <laughs> My first time. All right, quarter cup of cream. What else? Four tablespoons of butter. Yep. The garlic to? Two, two to three cloves. Yep. Rest is going in the potatoes. What else? We have lemon juice. How much? One and a half tablespoons. Okay. No seeds. No seeds, okay. And a tablespoon of mustard. And a tablespoon of mustard. We are using spicy brown today. But you could use any any mustard. Yellow mustard? I Honey mean, mustard? you could. Dijon if that's all mustard. you add. All right, what am I doing with this? This is going in the microwave. Fantastic. How long? 30 seconds. What's happening? What else? That's it. That's it. For right now. Check back in. Out of the microwave, we are going to add a quarter teaspoon, tablespoon of salt, a little bit of pepper to our sauce, and then we are going to put it back in the microwave for 30 seconds. 30 more seconds. All right, out of the microwave. It's supposed to be 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Smooth and melted. I would call it smooth and melted. Oh, good. Kind of like you. <laughs> like what? <laughs> that doesn't make sense. <laughs> Shows you, it just shows you how much game I have. Mm. Still got it. <laughs> so you're blushing. No one can see it, but you are. Even with your shirt on. So even with my shirt on, Evan. All right, so we're going to pour this over the fish. And then because I don't like to waste anything... We are going to 
use the rest of our lemon slices. And always a spatula, million dollar tool. So, and we are gonna put our lemon slices on top of the fish too, because we had lemon and we don't want to waste it. And this is going in the oven for? It depends on the size of your fish. That's what she said. <laughs> 10 to 12 minutes for smaller fish, or maybe 15. Maybe 15. So we're going to put this in the oven and we'll check back in. And for all you watching at home, she's still. Smells good. It's looks probably, good. It's probably gonna taste good. Looks good. Looks good. You know what else looks good? What? You. <laughs> Stop. So, you know. Not in front of the Twitter verse. <laughs> you're you're learning. So so this is it. It's a simple baked fish. It's done with you know just a few things you have laying around the house. Um, the last ingredient it called for is fresh parsley, but I know most of you don't just keep fresh parsley. I know I don't. Dried parsley works good. Gives it color. Parsley has no flavor really anyway. It's a garnish. Um, and we're going to put it up on the Twitter. Thanks for joining us today. We had a lot of fun with you guys. It'll be on the YouTube too. And join us next week when we cook something else. Maybe I get Miss T to bake something. She's an excellent baker. All right, then scoop out some mashed potatoes, lay a piece of fish on top of it, spoon a little bit of the sauce on top of that, and sprinkle with fresh parsley or dried parsley. Nobody gives a fuck. This was a beautiful dish. Everybody loved it. It was phenomenal. No bellies and no leftovers. Another week in the books. See you next week.